Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment, we're going to learn all about how to grow celosia and the coxcomb variety. Now, I always identify the coxcomb variety, or they call the Cristata group, because they look like brain flowers. When I was a little girl, I used to call them, that's the brain flower, because it's kind of fuzzy, and it has little shapes that look like a brain. But they come in gorgeous hot pinks and purples and yellows. They're just a gorgeous plant in the garden. But there's a few roles, and to figure out how to grow them, we've got to figure out where they're native to. So the celosia, the coxcomb variety, is native to the southern part of Asia. So India all the way through Malaysia, any of the southern part of Asia. So they like warm, tropical, humid, very, very tropical conditions. So when you're growing them in a colder climate, you have to make sure to never let them dry out so when you start a celosia, make sure and start it from seed in the spring. So make sure it's at least 70 degrees outside because they can only handle temperatures in zones 10 to 12. So that's not even freezing. They don't want to even get below 40, even 45, 50 degrees. They want to stay warm all the time. And they're an annual, so they'll come back by seed. So even if you bring them inside, you might lose them. But if you just start the seeds inside in April, May, if you live in a cold climate, put them outside by June, you'll have blooms through the fall. They're a great dried flower, too. They're one of my favorite plants in the whole world.